down there. I haven't been down there since 1953. And there was this guy, Andy Lefkoff. He was cute. Well, I thought so. He was a cat. That's what we called it in my day. We were sitting in his new white Chevy Bel Air and I remember thinking that my legs were too long for the seat. I have long legs. And they were smushed against the dashboard and I was looking at my kneecaps as when all of a sudden he kissed me in this surprisingly take me by control like they do in the movies kind of way. And, and I got excited. So excited. And there was a flood down there. I couldn't control it. It was like this force of life, this river of passion was pouring out of me right through my panties onto the car seat of his new white Chevy Bel Air. It wasn't pee and it was smelly. Well, frankly, I didn't smell anything at all, but he said, Andy said, that it smelled sour milk and it was staining his car seat. I was a um, stinky, weird girl. He drove me home without saying a word and the time I got out of his car and closed his car door, I closed the whole store, locked it, never opened for business again. I used to have dreams, crazy dreams. Bart Reynolds, I don't know why, he never did much for me in life, but in my dreams, we'd be out. It was always one of those restaurants, like the ones you see in Atlantic City. And he would give me this orchid corset and I would pin it on my dress and we'd laugh. And then he'd look into my eyes and he'd pull me to him. And just as he was about to kiss me, the whole restaurant would start shaking and pigeons would fly out from out of the table. I don't even know what those pigeons were doing there. And the flood would start pouring down from down there. And it would pour and pour and there would be fish in it and lifeboats and Bart Reynolds would be standing waist deep in it looking at me horribly disappointed that I'd done it again. I don't have those dreams anymore. Not since they took away everything that was connected with down there. The uterus, the tubes, the whole works. The doctor thought he was being funny. He said, if you don't use it, you lose it. But really, I found that it was cancer. Everything around it had to go. Who needs it anyway? Highly overrated. <laughs> I've done other things. I love 
the dog shows. I sell antiques. 